Hello people, this is Clown300. Welcome back to another video of me getting irrationally angry at something stupid. Maybe it is rational, I don't know. Actually, you know what? It is rational. I don't know why I'm talking about this so calmly. I want to talk about something that's a huge problem with the comment section on YouTube. And it honestly amazes me that there's pretty much nobody talking about this. It's probably got somewhat resolved in 2022, but recently it started to make a comeback. I'm sure you've noticed that if you go in the comment section of a big YouTube video, you'll see a comment from a verified channel like Chicken, X, or Star. Oh, they might even be in the comment section of this video. They love hearing shit about themselves. Obviously, if you're seeing them all over the place, you might at some point be interested in what their channel looks like. And if you click on their channel, you'll notice that they usually have over 100,000 subs with only one video. Your first thought might be that this is a sub-botted channel, but you'd be wrong about that. But despite the fact that most of them aren't sub-botted, there's still a darker background to these channels that a lot of people don't know about. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try my hardest to stay calm so that this video can be informative. This is still going to be somewhat of a rant because, I mean, I, I just can't help being an asshole sometimes. I don't normally get serious in videos like this, but it's gotten to the point where it's no longer just some petty internet drama. At the risk of sounding like Mama Max, this is something that needs attention because it could change the future of this website. It's probably one of the most important videos that I'll ever make. So without further ado, let's do this. I lied, by the way, there's going to be some further ado. I want to make sure you know what I'm talking about first. If you go in the comment section of a big YouTube video, there's a good chance that you'll see a comment from someone who's verified. If you go on their channel, you'll see that they got a lot of subs and only a couple of videos. Contrary to what you might be thinking, these aren't popular internet personalities that flew under your radar. And they aren't wannabe Justin Wise either. These people are part of a group that exploits parts of YouTube to try to gain an audience. These channels were a huge problem back in 2021, and they typically started in similar scenarios. These aren't the only two ways that they start, but it's the ones that I know the best. Man creates a brand new channel to farm views by posting popular things like movie clips clips, re-uploaded TikToks, or engagement bait. The owner runs this content farm up until the channel hits at least 100,000 subs. It's because once a channel hits 100,000, they can apply for a verification badge. And here's where the scenario can vary. In one instance, the owner sells his account to whoever's willing to pay for it. In another instance, the channel being sold is one that got hijacked through a software exploit or stolen through a scam. All the videos on the sold account get either deleted or privated. The new owner renames the channel to whatever they want, but it's usually like, it's one word like risky, evil, angel, or some shit like that. The first and sometimes only video on this channel would be called Who Is, and I'll get back to that in a minute. The account would then be used to spam comments under pretty much every popular video. And by spam, I don't mean multiple comments on one video. These channels would comment under almost every popular video. The comments would usually be something either extremely generic or they would literally steal the top comment. Going back to the Who Is video though, this video would be used to try to explain to anyone watching why this channel exists. Who is risky? You guys have probably found me from a comment that are watching this video or somehow you found me from the YouTube search bar or the YouTube recommended or suggested whatever. In today's video, I'm just going to basically clear up who I am and what am I doing all over YouTube. Hi, my name is Dam. I am a content creator here on YouTube. I recently unlisted all my videos, so I thought I'd make this video to quite explain why I exist. What's up, guys? In today's video, I'm going to be explaining who I am. I know you've probably come across one of my comments on YouTube. And if you watched enough of these, you start to notice a very similar pattern in all of them. Just a bunch of lies on top of lies on top of lies on top of lies. The explanation for why they had no videos would usually be that they used to be a gaming YouTuber, but they stopped because that game was cringe or dying. As you guys know, Fortnite quickly died like the game went to rest. The game is not good now at all, in my opinion, so I completely lost interest in the game. I decided to quit YouTube, and I literally had nothing to do game-wise, so I didn't upload anything else. All the videos were unlisted, by the way, just a preference. So, and a lot of the videos that went viral were deleted because it was just content I really didn't want to make. Even though it went viral, even though it made money, I didn't want to make it. Because I private all of my old videos. My channel used to upload Fortnite videos, which is what got me over 100k subscribers. But Fortnite is very dead, and I have decided to switch up my content. The explanation for how they comment so much is that they just watch a lot of YouTube. That or they somehow have a team of people that comment on videos. I know it's hard to believe because of the amount of videos I comment on, but I do watch a lot of YouTube. So you might have seen me around in comments yes i know evil supreme angel whatever dude there's so many channels that comment all over youtube i genuinely just enjoy youtube we have a team of 10 people who are commenting on every video on youtube we have five people from europe and five people from the usa and they'd always be really smug about the fact that the channel they run never use sub bots do you sub bot I just want to start off by saying no, I do not sub -bot. This channel is not sub -botted. I simply gain my subscribers on this channel by doing Fortnite videos back in 2017, 2018 days. I, I don't sub -bot. I genuinely don't. It's like a waste and I don't know why people would think that. You also probably think I'm a bot, but I'm actually not a bot. And while it is true that most of them did not sub -bot, they still were not being honest about the fact that they bought their channel. They also weren't being honest about why they commented on so many videos. They say that it's because they just watch a lot of YouTube, but the reality is they were using the comment section to try to siphon viewers from other channels. And again, since they bought a channel with a verification check mark, it makes people think, oh wow, a comment from a verified YouTuber. This must be a popular YouTuber that I just never heard about. When in reality, it's just someone with a less than average personality making less than average content. But like I said, these channels were a huge problem back in 21 to 
21. 21, 21, 21. These channels were a huge problem back in 2021 and it led to a lot of YouTubers like Timeworks, Moist Critical, and even Mudahar making videos about it. There's a bunch of channels like this that comment across all of YouTube. Even my own video here has a comment from Magic. Claim you're here within an hour, take it right here. And it comes from verified channels, real fucking verified checkmark channels. And they're all leaving the same copy and pasted note on every single channel. And it goes something like this. We can all agree that this YouTuber never disappoints us with their content in the hopes that when people see that, they're like, oh, this verified YouTuber is also a fan of my favorite YouTuber. Let me check out their content. They're being really supportive. Let's see what they're about. So they're hoping to leech a couple of people from the comment section by pretending like they care about what they watched. Now, ladies and gentlemen, on every popular video, you're always probably going to go down into the comment section. You'll probably notice it in this video as well. There are always comments that float to the top of the pile that are always from verified users. Zero IQ Minecraft logic. No, actually, what is zero IQ? is why is a channel with 109,000 subscribers unable to crack 100 views in 12 hours? It's because of these videos that most of these channels got some form of retribution. The YouTuber Jack Gordon made a video exposing Scythe for being a scammer. In this video, he exposed how Scythe was able to scam someone named Minecraft Player 1.0 into giving him his channel. Interrupting right here because I found out Scythe made a response video to Jack. He basically said some shit like, oh my god guys, I cannot believe Jack Gordon would make me look like a bad person. I don't know how Jack could have gotten that idea, man. Maybe it's the fact that you tried stealing his damn channel, like you did with Minecraft Player. I think he wanted to hack me too, since during the interview, he sent my channel to a friend and contemplated trying to trick me in the same way. I decided against it. And I know this because this entire chat message was in the screen recording of the interview that Sight took and sent to me, obviously forgetting to watch it through or remember that he was recording this entire interaction. I also have these DMs, courtesy of some of Sight's old friends, whose channels he hacked too. He tried playing this off as a joke, but I mean, do you really expect anybody to believe that? This is completely Completely a lie. I only said that I was gonna steal his channel as a joke because he's ginger. He's funny looking. That's like if Jeffrey Dahmer said, like, hey bro, I'm gonna kill you and eat you, and then try to pass it off as a joke. Am I fucked up for comparing a serial killer to some loser on the internet? Yes. Damn got exposed for so much shit, like being tremendously down bad for every girl he's ever met, uh being an unfunny racist, pretending to be an e-girl for money, and most importantly, liking kids. I mean if you look at his website, it's not really that surprising. <laughs> That nigga is ugly! Evil and a bunch of channels like him got terminated, but one of the channels that got away was the channel named Blue. Blue was a channel that did the same comment spam scheme, except, except the difference with him is that he used Mr. Beast's profile picture to try to trick kids into subscribing to him. These days, he uploads mediocre LEGO Fortnite videos, but more importantly, he's still spamming comments on other YouTubers' videos. Yes. A while ago, I was watching one of Mark Blair's newest videos, and when I checked the comment section, I, I could physically feel my blood pressure rising. Once again, there was a comment made by a person who wants fame and money without putting in the time or the effort needed to deserve it. This time it was by a channel named Chicken. The Chicken channel has only one video on it, and it's not even a video uploaded to the channel itself. It's a video called Found My Comment, and it was uploaded by a channel named Birdie over two years ago. In fact, it's the same fucking video he used back when his channel was called Blue. I know this because when I clicked on it, it still had the dislike I left back in 2021. One thing that's changed about the Chicken channel since I first found it is that it looks like Birdie handed the keys over to someone else. I forgot to talk about it, but this is what the channel used to look like. It was called Jai Creation, and I'm pretty sure it uploaded Indian TikToks. The only thing uploaded so far is a mid-commentary about Minecraft being sold to Microsoft. The comment section is what pissed me off the most though. It's, it's just full of people blindly subscribing to him for no reason. Like listen, I'm not gonna be mad at you if you subscribe to him because again, these channels exist to deceive people. I'd only call you stupid if after watching the video you'd still subscribe to this channel because the number one rule on this channel is we are not stupid. By the way, I've had to rewrite my notes for this video like three times because every time I think I've had a video ready, I find some more shit out. At first, I was just going to talk about Birdie and how he's a scumbag and shit. I mean, I, I still could do that. I could talk about how he used Mr. Beast's profile picture to make kids think that he was affiliated with them. I could talk about how he used to do those fake Fortnite live event live streams. I could even talk about how he did so many fake Fortnite item shop giveaways. Spam chat guys right now if you guys want to win free skin from today's item shop and i mean i could do that i mean it's not like his channel is going to go anywhere the guy hasn't uploaded anything besides lego fortnite tutorials oh and also engagement bait for literal infants 99 percent of the world cannot beat this test even scientists say if you beat this test that you're a superhuman three two one hold your breath only using your thumbs follow like comment superhero i mean that would have been the whole video if I didn't end up seeing a couple of comments on his found my comment video. The first was a comment by Pixel Crafting that said, as a person who was a big commenter back during that time, we're not doing this again. Birdie's response to that was, I think you'll find we are doing this again. At first I was like, we? Who the fuck is we? <laughs> we. 
and I didn't have to scroll that much to find out who we was. This comment by Channel Lind actually says, we making that out of the comment section with this one. And it's because of this and many more comments like this that I realized this problem is making a comeback. I have a huge problem with these people and I actually know about a solution to it. But before I talk about that, I want you to meet the people behind this new resurfacing of this comment span. Because even though the general idea is kind of similar, there's still some slight differences with this new wave. I also kind of just want to rap for a little bit. Let us start with the Channel Lind star. He uploaded a video on the 7th of February called Who Am I? Let's watch it. If you're watching this video, it most likely means that you have came across one of my many comments left across YouTube and may wonder how I have 100,000 subscribers with no videos, how I comment so much, and if my channel is bored. Damn right, brother. So my channel was originally grown with YouTube Shorts before I deleted them. Shorts have been proven time and time again to be a very fast way to grow your channel in comparison to long-form content. I mean, yeah, Shorts are a good way to grow your channel really quickly. I mean, I don't really use them because I, I make more long-form videos and they really have any big moments that I can clip. You know what's strange to me? The fact that if you go on the way back machine you'll see that at one point this channel had 122,000 subs without shorts content just something strange that i noticed and finally if my youtube channel is bored i received my channel via brand transfer from one of my close friends what this is actually allowed in youtube's terms of service it did actually allow within the youtube term that that is also this is unnecessary but listen to the amount of cuts in that line again this is actually allowed in youtube's terms of service it's like he's reading off a script or he too nervous to talk into a microphone. Also, that brand transfer shit is a big ass lie. I highly doubt that you were friends with a Russian guy named Eto Utka. For example, Smosh, they sold and bought the channel back and made it very long by even creating a video of the Smosh YouTube channel about doing it. Considering that the channel isn't stolen, which mine isn't, then it's completely fine to do. Yeah, don't bring Smosh into this. There's a huge difference between what they did and what you're doing right now. What they did is they sold their channel off as a business, meaning they got to keep making their content. What you're doing is the equivalent of getting the car keys to the used car you just bought. Except in this case, the car is also stolen. Overall, I give this guy a 2 out of 10. I don't really see him being able to sustain these subs for a long time. Decent editing, even if he did use the Wii Shop channel music, fix that lisp and learn how to read your script properly. And maybe one day, people will respect you as a content creator. Crazy. I'm crazy. Now let's find out who is X, or should I call you crazy? In the past few days, you've probably seen my channel X in the comments section of many of your favorite YouTubers. I know this is probably very confusing to you, so in this video, I'm gonna answer all of the commonly asked questions such as who is X and why do I have 6 million subscribers with basically no videos. In this video, I plan on being just bluntly honest and I'm not gonna feed you a load of lies like most of the commenters did in 2021. Oh, well, I really appreciate that, X. You know, you may be a scumbag, but at least you're not a lying scumbag. By the way, I noticed in the description of this video, you can see a hashtag that says number one on trending. And at first you might be thinking, wow, yowie, this dude got number one on trending? No. He didn't. He made a podcast called Number One on Trending and added this video to it. X, what the hell? You just lied to me. I sure hope this isn't a recurring pattern in this video. Just take a look at this channel right here named Cosmo TV, which is uploading a bunch of engagement bait videos and gaining over 4 million subscribers per week. This channel was created less than a month ago and it has over 14 million subscribers already, which is absolutely insane. Could you imagine how shit YouTube would be if this, like, <laughs> I messed that up. Could you imagine how shit YouTube would be if like, most of the creators were like this? Like imagine subscribing to a channel and then after a while some loser takes over. So now to answer the question, what exactly is it that I was uploading? Well, the truth is I was not the one who originally grew this channel at all. I actually got this channel through a brand transfer from one of my friends named Jaga who is actually still working on this channel alongside me now. And despite what you might currently believe, this is perfectly allowed within YouTube's terms of service. Just take a look at Smosh who sold their channel and then later bought it back very publicly. Another Smosh reference. I mean, maybe I'm not hearing you right or maybe you just messed up something when writing your script or something, but... Listen, man, what, what does Smosh buying and selling their channel as a business have to do with you if you got your channel through a brand transfer? Why did you need to clarify that if it has nothing to do with you? How the hell did you not catch that before uploading this? <laughs> and it's not just Smosh either. It's much more common than you think for YouTube channels to change hands or be sold. And many of your favorite YouTubers have probably either sold a percentage of their channel or the entire thing to somebody else or a big corporation. Yeah, but again, there's a very big difference between selling your channel like a business and buying a channel like you're getting the keys to a used car. And especially if you're going to remodel that car completely to the point where it's questionable if it's even the same car. Like on some ship of Theseus shit. Also, I don't think I've shown what the channel used to look like, so here it is. The channel used to be called Smart Gadgets Warehouse and it used to upload what I'm I'm assuming are Chinese tech videos. It was also sold for about three to ten thousand dollars. Seriously, that's like a down payment on a decent car. Could you imagine telling your friends that you spent $10,000 on a dead YouTube channel? They'd be like, already hard, bro. For real though, what'd you buy with that money? The reality is there's no difference between what they're doing and what I'm doing. Yeah, no, there's actually a huge difference. Smosh didn't grow their channel by uploading generic Mandarin tech videos and then suddenly switched to uploading comedy sketches. They didn't buy their channel to completely change what people were originally there for. And most importantly, they didn't spam the comment section of every popular YouTube video to get people to watch their Who is Smosh video. Now moving on to the thing you've probably all been waiting for. Why do you see me in the comment section so much? 
Well, the simple answer is I just watch a lot of YouTube. There's no tricks, no bots, and there's nothing special or extravagant about what's going on. Yeah, that's a lie too. How do I know this? I went on a server. And if you dig deep past all the narcissism and the hard R's that people drop, you'll find this. If you don't know what the hell this is, it's a prompt slash script for whatever AI chat generator he's using. Also known as a bot. You can pause if you want to read it, but it's basically instructions for whatever chat GPT shit he uses. And if you don't believe me, I'll probably be doing streams where you can watch me commenting on videos live. Okay, and how's that gonna work? You gonna re-upload videos on your stream, watch them all the way through, and then leave a comment? Or you're just gonna watch a fraction of a video and then comment based on the 10 seconds you saw? And if you hate the way that I'm talking about you, then you only got yourself to blame, because I'm only going off of what you've given me. You spam comments on pretty much every popular video, you lied about not buying your channel, and based on the fact that people like you who buy channels tend to use that stupid I'm one sub away from however many subscribers, you've just proven that you're not trustworthy. The final thing I wanted to talk about is what do I plan on doing with this channel? I definitely don't plan on just posting this video and then completely disappearing like I said earlier. I actually plan on making high quality video essay content on this channel, as I've had decent success posting them on a different channel of mine, and people seem to enjoy them. That's also a lie, by the way. Most of these bot channels either end up never uploading again or they end up doing the same shorts content that got the channel big in the first place like am i the only one who sees this like the irony in this after all that money they spent on a channel all that money they spent on their setups all those self-advertising comments that they made desperately trying to get people to watch their content for their personality the only content of theirs that people end up liking is the content that doesn't even need their personality. This isn't gonna go the way you think it's gonna go. Like, take a hint, you're all failed YouTubers for a reason. You think that all you needed to have a successful channel was for the right audience to find you, when in reality, the reason why people don't fuck with your content is because of you. The truth of the matter is that it doesn't matter what color you paint your garbage can, it's still a garbage can. I'll give you an example of someone who has it. Queso Games. His channel blew up in the span of two years from doing three things. Posting on YouTube, posting on TikTok, and streaming on Twitch. He had terrible Wi-Fi, a bare minimum setup, and he still got popular. No tricks, no deception, no nothing. Just a genuine personality that people enjoy watching and will remember for a long time. The only thing you'll be remembered for is how you wasted three to ten thousand dollars just to have a dead channel. So overall, I give this guy a four out of ten. I mean, the editing was better than the first guy, and he actually sounded like he knew how to talk into a microphone. Taking points off for using cheap tricks to try to make himself look like he's somebody. And I mean, when the basis of your entire channel is to deceive people into thinking you're popping off, it's not exactly the best look. Taking more points off because he's selling verification check marks for seven hundred fifty dollars. Jesus Christ! Also, got to take points off for the fact that he's got thirteen accounts, and that's only the accounts that he has connected on his profile. So who the hell knows how many accounts he's actually got. Also gotta take more points off because of this desperate attempt at getting a viral video. The title of this video is not clickbait. I'm doing an experiment where I try to break the YouTube algorithm by instructing my audience to rewatch a video three times to artificially increase the engagement on the video, basically forcing it to go viral. In order for this to work, we need an immediate boost in views and that's where you guys come in. Please click the video at the top of the description and help me break the YouTube algorithm. Guys, for this experiment, I'm gonna need you to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and watch all of my videos in 0.25 speed. Ignore the fact that the only person benefiting from this is me. Just do it, cause why not? Take me to the lakes where all the poets went to die. Last and definitely least, we have Just Lake. Let's take a look at his video called Proving I Don't Subbot. So you probably saw me from the comment section from random YouTube videos, even if it's Creecraft to Mr. Beast or even Luke AFK, you probably saw me from some random comment section. Yeah, you can tell this guy's never made an actual YouTube video before. If you guys wanna do it, if you guys want me to do a tutorial on how to get good comments on YouTube, get this video to 1000 likes and I'll do an in-depth tutorial on how to get to the top comments without a verification check mark because it's actually very easy. Yeah, I don't think anybody's trying to see that, brother. All right, you get the point. It's the same thing as the other guys, except this time it's being said by someone who doesn't know how to speak English properly. By the way, Lake commented on my last video about Scoozy. He said this, didn't expect to see myself in this video, lol. If anyone's wondering, I'm at 12.07. I think this does prove that Lake isn't a bob, but what, the, what this does prove is that he has such an easy life that he can comment on videos all day instead of doing something productive. I feel bad for his parents. Also, when you, when you see yourself in an exposed video with a clip that says see you soon does that not raise any red flags for you or like ring any bells here's the thing that separates him from the others though we have definitive proof that this channel used to belong to somebody else thanks to the youtuber dole the angel i found out just like used to belong to somebody of the same name by the way shout out to dole the angel this man's been keeping up with the verified comment spam since the beginning and he's massively underrated i'm a little confused because on the wayback machine you can see that this used to be an indian free fire channel but the thing that also confuses me is the fact that the real just lake has a silver and gold play button in this video so either the real just lake also bought his channel or and somehow got it stolen or this is actually his channel i tried contacting him but i got no response so <laughs> the thing is besides just lake there's been many occasions of people having their channel stolen by by this group the part that pissed me off is that all these dudes with their fake check marks commented on 
just like this video making fun of him like oh man that's so sad i can't believe youtube's not doing anything about it you know they're just mocking him like so that concludes this portion of this video now i want to talk about my problem with these guys why you should care and what we can do about it So as you might have been able to tell, this entire situation is based off of one thing, and that's attention. People who don't have what it takes to be a good content creator doing whatever they can to get as much online attention as possible, except for work hard, apparently. Out of all of them, I think X or Crazy is the worst of them. He clearly has some kind of narcissistic personality disorder. Like, look at this, bro. I could comment lol on the new Mr. Beast video, and it would get 1k likes in an hour, which is kind of sad in a cringe way if you think about it. Like, imagine going to a reunion where people are like, yeah, man, I just put a down payment on a house. Oh, cool, man. I finally finished paying off my car. Hey, man, well, what have you been up to? Oh, you know, I spent $10,000 on a dead channel to spam comments on YouTube, and my comments get a thousand likes within an hour. <laughs> Does it not sound like one of the biggest losers you've ever heard of? And before someone tries to tell me that spamming comments in the way that they're doing isn't against terms of service, look at this. The YouTube terms of service. I've been very vocal about how not only is common spam against terms of service, but it's also against what the community is cool with. Like, I already showed this in my videos on Ragbag. Even though he did the common spam shit too, he at least had the decency to start from the bottom and actually make content. I'm looking at my notes right now and I'm like, damn, I gotta give props to this guy. Okay, so now I want to talk about why you should care and why this is a problem. It's a danger to anybody who doesn't want their channel being turned into a husk for self-promotion, especially for any rising creator who just doesn't know about their scams. And not just that, not only does it undermine the efforts made by people who actually worked hard to get their status on the top, it sets a bad example for anyone who's still trying their hardest to get noticed. And before I get some dumbass things, which is like, oh, you're just jealous and only want views, I don't care. I made this very clear in my other videos that I only upload either when I have something to edit or when I get pissed off enough to make a video like this. And I'll reuse my quote from that Ragbag video. If I'm what you think is hungry for views, then what is a guy like X, Star, like all of those guys? You gotta realize we're in for the worst era of YouTube content if this doesn't go unpunished. We're in for an era where you won't get your content noticed, but a guy who uses daddy's credit card can cheat his way to the top. This isn't work smarter, not harder. It's throw away all your integrity so you can get a little bit of attention online. The comment section of another YouTuber is a forum for you to spam self-advertisement to your stupid videos. And it's only going to get worse with AI getting better because TikTok already has this problem where the top comment on a lot of videos is this bot named Ashley. And somehow the bot's able to tell what happened in the video and comment based on the, what the video was. Now, do I have a solution? You bet your ass I do. If you ever see a comment from any one of these guys with a check mark, just report it as spam. Don't like it, don't reply to them. Don't even leave a hate comment on their video, just report it. A good way to tell if it's actually a comment spammer is by checking if their channel has one of those who is videos. Sometimes they'll be called something different like proof I don't sub by or found my comment. And I know this will work because it's the exact same thing that got a bunch of these channels back then terminated. They were specifically terminated for violating YouTube's policy against spam deceptive practices and misleading content. Just remember, report their comments spam and don't interact with them in any other way. These narcissists thrive on attention and the best thing we can do is not give them any. And I know it's ironic that I'm making a video about them, but this is like a call to action basically. My hope is that if enough people report these guys, YouTube will once again strike them down like they did a few years ago. And that is it. I hope you enjoyed getting mad with me once again. I don't normally say this, but since this is probably one of the most important videos that I'll ever make, I'd appreciate it if you liked the video or left a comment. I know I might get some shit from their boys, but whatever, I don't care. I just I just enjoy getting mad, especially if it's against douchebags like this. Hopefully you learned something from this video. Like I said, I'm not going to get mad at you or call you stupid if you fell for the tricks. Just remember, the number one rule on this channel is we are not stupid. Like I said, I only really upload when I have something to, to edit or when something pisses me off enough to make a video like this. These last videos have come out somewhat close to each other just because I had them somewhat done already. But I mean, now that I see that there's somewhat of a demand for this type of content, I'll try to see if I can make more videos like this. But yes, that is all. Take care of yourself. Acknowledge me. Goodbye.